Good evening, SCCW fans, and welcome to another installment of Thursday Night Ignition. My name is Alistair Mayfield, your host and commentator as always. And tonight, much like last night on Voltage, we do have another lineup of matches with the main event featuring our number one contendership match to see who will go on to face SCCW International Champion Hunter Storms at next week's pay-per-view event uh, to challenge for the strap. I'm actually very excited to see who out of the two will go on uh, one will definitely be more, in my opinion, will definitely be a more interesting matchup than the other. But before we can get to that, we have all the other matches to get through first. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into the first one. The following contest is scheduled for a one fall. Choosing first from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 201 pounds, Kendrick. Alexander! Midnight hour coming off a rather unexpected uh, loss with an immediate tap out to Limigren two weeks ago. I think he still might be feeling a bit of the effects, but. And his opponent from Louisiana, weighing at 286 pounds, Allen Galloway! And meanwhile, Galloway's still in a bit of a losing slump as of late, still struggling to rebound a bit. Uh, if anything, I feel like Dempsey still might be in his head, just a little, ever since his loss to him back at Gambler's Fortune. So a win here tonight would definitely be right. crucial for him. There's the bell, we're underway here. It's a test of strength, neither man backing down, but it looked like Gallo might have had the upper hand there for a minute. As Kendrick scoops him up, slams him down. Drops him with that elbow. Alexander now bridging back, trying to slip that Muda lock in, but Galloway muscles out of it. Walk up, big chop to the chest. Knee lift to the midsection. Sits him. Ah, ooh! Maybe reverse roundhouse into the back of the head, but Galloway spikes him into the canvas with that forearm. Waiting, catches Galloway with that back elbow. Sits him up! There's that chop to the chest. Lock up, Galloway with a powerful body slam. Lock up, takes Alexander down with that elbow. Lock up, elbow to the back. Lock up here, Galloway again with the elbow. Slams the knee right to the canvas. So Galloway up, slams him down, off the ropes now. Ooh. Baseball slide drop kick to the head. Galloway throws him to the corner. Fires him off in the other one, measuring here! Ooh, caught him with the boot! Oh, but Alexander spawning in kind with a series of punches there. Lock up, Galloway waiting! Oh, black hole slam! Alexander able to kick him away. What's oh, the spin kick there? And again, lock up. Alexander with a series of elbows. He comes off the ropes, and there's the drop kick to the side of the head. Caught with that elbow from Galloway. All right, here they go. Galloway, Kendrick, Galloway, Kendrick. Galloway winning the exchange. Whoop, Alexander catches up with that drop. Oh, there's the elbow to the back of the head. Two, trying to engage each other. Galloway takes him out with that arm drag off the ropes. Fish drop right to the face. Boy, the clothesline. Galloway sends him to the ropes, waiting, oh, one for the knee lift, Alexander with a slide underneath the lift. Galloway still staying on top of him there with that quick firing offense, sidewalk slam! Galloway now off the ropes, but Alexander makes it to his feet, lock up. Alexander with a couple of knee lifts there to the midsection, he comes off the ropes, oh! Taste of midnight, right to the back of the head. Galloway to the ropes, takes him down with that flapjack. Double to the back of the head. Galloway back up on his feet, there's that forearm right to the back. Lock up. Whoa, oh, but Kendrick! Ego death! Right on the top of his head, cover one, two! Galloway able to get the shoulder up. Lock up. Alexander with that elbow into the corner, has him set up, and there's the night call! Both men onto their feet here. Kendrick with that series of punches. It's Galloway. Oh, oh what a drop kick! 
to lock out. Galloway reverses the Irish whip. Wait, oh, one for the black hole slam. Kendrick slides underneath. Ooh, vicious shot right to the throw and a stomp right to the jewels. And he does it again. No one's surprised. Oh, but Kendrick has him. Oh, big on death. Cover. One, two. Galloway gets the shoulder up once more. Ooh. Nice complete shot there by Alexander. Comes off the ropes. Rolling thunder. Back up. Galloway snap DDT. Spiked him. Cover. One, two. Alexander gets the shoulder up. Alexander, bridging swinging fisherman. Galloway had his foot on the rope. Irish whip, Galloway comes off his, well, ooh, what a clothesline. As Alexander up, he comes off the ropes and again with the clothesline. Alexander back up, Irish whip, he comes off too. Ooh! Inside roll into the double stomp there, good God. Irish whip, Oh, there's knee lift that time from Galloway. Whoop by Alexander, inside cradle, one, two! Galloway out with a kick out just in the nick of time. Goes behind Alexander, hoists him up, takes him down with that backdrop. Alexander bounces back up, down goes Galloway. Alexander, a night call! Turns him over, cover! Too close to the ropes as Thorne. Alexander dumps Galloway to the outside. Slow oh, springboard crossbody! Takes him out! Well, but Galloway just throws Alexander back in. Getting a quick breather in. The stare down, Galloway missed with the clothesline. Behold, no! Hurricane Runner likes a hook, one, two, three, he got him! Here is your winner by pinfall, Kendrick Alexander! A midnight hour able to steal one away from Galloway. That a nice counter there. And Galloway might have been looking for that face buster fist, but Alexander was able to get enough elevation and momentum to switch it around. So he's making his way up the ramp, Galloway, and not happy in the ring with how things have turned out. That actually might have proved to be a bit of a game changer there if he was able to connect. All right, without further ado, folks, let's go ahead and jump right on into the next one. Following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Guelph, Ontario, Canada, weighing in 240 pounds, Brandon Owen. Owens coming off the back end of a loss two weeks ago, having been knocked out by Travis Monroe, if I'm not mistaken. So, still looking to bounce back while he can, especially with someone who's been making impact. And his opponent from Fairfield, New Mexico, weighing at 310 pounds, Cliff Clinton. Meanwhile, for Cliff here, coming off. A victory two weeks ago over the likes of Jason Justice, which is definitely a big win for him for sure. Unfortunately, he did find himself being part of the number one, no, number one contendership match. And, but if anything, this is definitely giving him a chance to keep piling on momentum if he's able to keep his winning ways going here. Set of the ropes, and Owens already with a float over DDT. Good lord. This is with that chop, however, and Cliff flips him over with that hip toss. Lock up. Right hand there from Owens. Catches Cliff with that jawbreaker. Lock up. Ooh, slap right to the chest. Owens with the left hand. Misses with that chop. Lock up. Clinton with that overhand strike. Avoids the kick. But Owens drops him with a DDT. Kick right to the midsection. Clinton gets thrown to the corner. Owens try to measure. Takes him down with the elbow. High leaping knee drop to the back of the head. This is the chop. Ooh, couple of punches there right to the head. Comes off the ropes, but Clinton makes it to his feet. Owens again trying to keep him down with those punches. Comes off the ropes, but Clinton again pulls himself up. 
overhand strike. Lock up. Oh, he's able to hoist him up and takes him down with that vertical suplex. Turns him over, single leg crab applied here. Right into a hyperextend the leg, but Clinton able to break out. And Owens drops him with another DDT. Pulls him away from the ropes. Elbow drop right to the jaw. Lock up, elbow to the back of the head. That time, double knees to the spine. Lock up. Oh, and here they go. Owens, Clinton, Owens, Clinton. Owens winning the exchange. Pulls Clinton away from the ropes. Owens to the top. Connects with the diving leg drop. Cover here. One, two. No. Oh, Clinton able to kick up before two. Owens again. Trying to maintain the offensive here. Knee drop right to the back of the head. Clinton back up on his feet. Overhand shot right to the back. Oh, Jesus. Slamming both knees there to the canvas. Owens series of kicks to the jaw. He comes off the ropes. Float over DDT. Oh, Clinton with the bicycle and missed. Owens went for the float over. Clinton saw it coming that time and s punishes him. Eyes up. Up. Spiral bomb. One. Owens able to easily get the shoulder up. Caught with a couple of jabs there. Takes Clinton down with that elbow and wags his finger at him too. Oh, but Clinton with the elbow. Oh, and a massive headbutt as well. Clinton now, stretch muffler locked in here. Trying to yank down, but Owens able to kick his way out. He's caught with that punch right to the rib. Oh, and Owens, Northern Lights, one, two. Clinton barely getting his shoulder up off the mat there. Misses with the bicycle. Oh, but he has Owens up. Cliff dive planted him. Owens up on his feet, caught with that kick, lock up. Oh, right, belly to belly launches Owens. Has him up. Owens sends him into the ropes, takes him down with that flapjack. Double knees to the back. Lock up. Right hand there from Owens. Oh, but to Clint alone with the punch is here. Down goes Owens. Clint again, going back to that stretch muffler. Pulling and pulling. Owens able to break free. Drops the elbow. Has him up. Spinning neck breaker. Clinton back up on his feet, however. Owens alone with the kicks to the jaw. Double knees. High leaping knee drop. Oh, but Clinton again just launches Owens overhead. Owens, oh, Northern Light Suplex. Clinton has his feet up on the ropes. Dumps Owens to the outside. Owens back inside. Clint, however, has a chair in hand now. He's getting a breather. He rolls back in with the chair. Walk up and Owens again with that Northern Lights. Again, it's in the corner there. Clinton on loading with the punches. Down goes Owens. Your waist lock caught with the elbow. Owens off the ropes. Float over DDT. Owens back up on his feet. Sends Clinton into the corner. Measuring here. Oh! It's that high knee. Clinton reverses the Irish whip. On after. Oh, spinning neck breaker. Owens to the top. Diving leg drop connects. Owens up as is Clinton. Sends him into the corner. Measuring. Got him again with that knee strike. Owens to the top. Diving leg drop to the back of the head. It's not done. Another leg drop. Clinton up on his feet this time. And he has Owens hooked. Cliff dive. The third. Calling for the bell. Hey Joe, what is the result of a KO? Cliff Clinton. And Clinton able to resume his winning ways to spin. Bite. Looking like he was being dominant throughout most of the match there. 
able to put Owens away with another definitive cliff dive. Which I think even hearkening to their encounter in the high roller, which I think ended the same way as when Clinton ended up knocking out Owens with a cliff dive. And history appears to have repeated itself. All right, without further ado, folks, let's go ahead, jump right on into the next one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the Discordian Court, weighing at 202 pounds, Glimmergrin! Glimmergrin coming off of victory over Kendrick Alexander two weeks ago. I keep wanting to say last week which he ultimately made the Midnight Hour tap out to his patent submission maneuver. And his opponent from Washington, D.C., weighing at 241 pounds, he is the SCCW International Champion, Hunter Storms! Cutthroat, who we haven't seen in about three weeks' time now by this point. He's looking to try to shake off some ring rust ever since his loss to Jason Long nearly a month ago. See how things go for him, especially with the title defense on the horizon come next week. Glimmergren throws him into the ropes. Oh, I've been looking for a cross body, but Storm's able to avoid it. Slams Glimmergren down to the canvas. Glimmergren, series of kicks there. Mounts and now unloaded with the punches. Storm's quickly throws him aside. Plus the Irish whip. Storm's reversed as he comes off. Oh, went for that high knee. Glimmergren able to sidestep it. Storm catches himself on the ropes that time. Catches Glimmergren with the elbow. Throws him right down to the canvas. Glimmer back up to his feet, but Storms throws him into the corner. Glimmergren able to step away. Oh, a couple of missed strikes there. Test of strength. Glimmergren pushing back. Oh, he's able to tax, tackle Storms onto the canvas. Oh, but Storms caught the kick, and there's the dragon screw. Glimmergren takes him over with that snap there. Solid left hand. Glimmergren, scoop slam, chop right to the chest, lock up, Storms, takes him down with that elbow, there's a fist drop right to the back of the head, lock up, Glimmergren with another right hand, misses with a chop that time, lock up, Storms with the Irish whip, he comes off, went for the knee, but Glimmergren able to sidestep it yet again, he's thrown down with that arm drag, quick stomp to the ribs, Glimmergren with a left hand, Ooh, he got caught with that straight right there, but he takes Storms out with that European uppercut off the ropes, and there's that sliding elbow. Sends him into the ropes. Whoop, Storms able to catch himself. Sends Glimmergren to the corner, measuring. Glimmergren able to step away, however. Here they go. Glimmer. Storms. Glimmer. Storms. Glimmer went in the exchange. Sets him up. Ooh, levels him with that shot to the chest. Oh, trying to offer a bit of sportsmanship, but Storms didn't care for it. He goes behind. There's the backdrop. Looks Glimmergren away from the corner. Sits him up. Ooh, snap kick to the base of the spine. Lock up. Storms with the elbow. That's Glimmergren up. Oh, got caught with that left. And I think he might have caught him on the nose a bit. As Storms is bleeding here. Center the corner, Glimmergren measuring. Ooh, running Shote. Dropping the elbow right to the leg. Lock up Storms with the elbow. Glimmergren back up on his feet, but Storms, the downfall! Too close to the ropes, however. That definitely had to hurt the back. It's short on clothesline, Storms to the top. Diving splash cover, one, two. Glimmergren able to get the shoulder up. Trying again for the sportsmanship. Storms cares not for it. And there's another short arm clothesline. Lock up. Storms goes behind. Takes him down with another backdrop. Stomp right to the ribs. Glimmergren up. Again with that short arm clothesline. I feel like he might be trying to tear his head off. Going to kick to the midsection to miss. Lock up. Storms. Raw steel. Chest first across the knee. One, two. Glimmergren barely getting the shoulder up. Oh, he knocks Storms down with that European uppercut. And there's the dragon screw. Storms back up on his feet. Glimmergren with that right hand. Oh, looking for that inside cradle. 
Send Storms to the ropes. Oh! That absolutely leveled there on the return. Storms lockup shot right to the ribs. That's Glimmergrin up. Oh, to the left and missed. Glimmergrin off the ropes. Ooh! Running double over at chop one. Two. No, not even a count of two. Lockup. Glimmergrin with the right. Lock up. Tick storms down with the uppercut. Pulls him away. Lock up. Oh, but storms. Lifts him up. Grand descent planted him. Pulls him away. Cover here. One, two. Glimmergrin able to get the shoulder up yet again. Lock up. Storms throws him down. Now we're loading with the left hands here. Rob's trying to seek a bit of vengeance and payback for busting him open. And we're gonna able to knock him aside. We've got caught with that right hand. Swinging neck breaker by Cutthroat. Storms now. Coming off the rope. Oh, what a lariat! Oh, Glimmergren. Series of punches there to the body. That Storms up. Oh, inside cradle. Too close to the rope, says Thorn. Lock up. Storms with a couple of knee lifts there of his own. Getting a breather, and I think the blood loss might be getting to him a bit. Oh, but he has a hook! Implant DDT! Cover! One, two, three! He got him! Here is your winner by pinfall, the SCCW International Champion, Hunter Storms! Compared to his Huntsman partner, Storm's able to pick up a much needed win for some momentum heading into next week. Especially considering who he might have to face come the pay-per-view event. Unlucky for Glimmergrin who definitely will put up a bit of a fight there to keep himself in it. But ultimately, Cutthroat ended up coming out on top. All right, up next, folks, we got our main event, and also to see who will challenge Storms next week for the International Championship. So without further ado, let's go ahead, jump right on into it. The following contest is a number one contendership match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Grozny, Chechnya, Russia, weighing out 104 pounds, Sister Valerie! And what I've been told about Valerie here is that this was actually a bit of a gambling pick that Solomon made to put her in this normal contendership match. And it'll definitely be big for her if she wins. And her opponent from Wexford Town County, Wexford, Ireland, weighing at 195 pounds, Jason Long! Now, this one isn't so much of a gambling pick as it is just no one just how very capable the likes of Long is in the ring, especially with a victory over international champion Storms and also how much distance they went to crown the inaugural international champion. But at the same time, to see him go up against, against the likes of Valerie, this is definitely going to be one hell of an interesting match for sure. To lock up right here. Valerie with the elbow to drop long. And there's a fist drop to the back of the head. Test of strength. Valerie gets the better of him. Catches him with that left. Drops long with the elbow. Into that seated Fujiwara arm bar. Long able to slip out of it. Lock up. Long with the scoop slam. Valerie back up on her feet. Long drops her with the elbow. Stomp right to the back. Lock up. There's the dragon screw. Kick right to the midsection. Lock up. Irish whip. Oh, to collide. Valerie with the dragon screw. Long back up to his feet. Kick right to the midsection. Ooh. A couple of exchange kicks there. And Valerie that time with a dragon screw of her own. Miss strikes it again. Long. Dragon screw of his own. Maybe we'll avoid the kick. Lock up. Long. Sends Valerie into the corner. Valerie will block the punch. Ooh, a couple of knee lifts there right to the midsection. Lock up. That's the string. Long catches her with that drop toe hold. Stomp to the back. Valerie back up. Lock up. Irish whip. Come back. Tilt the wall backbreaker. Valerie back up on her feet. 
Sends it long into the corner. Throws him back. Oh, now stomping a mud hole there. And the King back to that Fujiwara armbar. Pulling up on it. I think she really might be trying to target the shoulder here. She can't exactly blame her for it, especially knowing Long's finishing maneuver. Not a matter of the fact that most of his moves do involve him having to lift his opponent. So if you think about a long run, it's a rather smart strategy there by Valerie. The lock up here, sends Long to the ropes, waiting. Catches him with that drop toehold. Has him up. <coughs> sends him on the ropes. Oh! Drops out of that Fujiwara armor this time. Not seated. Still targeting the shoulder. Lock up. Irish whip. Wait it. Oh! Slips behind. Caught with the parlay kick. Long up on his feet as is Valerie. Now here they go. Valerie. Long. Valerie. Long. Valerie went in the exchange. Stomp to the ribs. And again. Long back up to his feet. This is the kick, lock up, Irish whip. Valerie waiting, Oh, Absolutely bowled over there on the return. Long now, off the ropes. Double knees right to the midsection. Lock up, Irish whip. Valerie coming, oh, ooh! Flying knee strike right to the face. Catches Long with that right hand. Lock up, Long sends her into the ropes, waiting. Tilt a well backbreaker yet again. Comes off, Valerie makes it to her feet. Lock up, Irish whip, Valerie waiting into that Fujiwara armbar yet again. Really been targeting the shoulders of Long here. Lock up, Long spins her down. Stomp right to the leg. Valerie, right hand, Long with a belly to belly. To lock up, and Long again with another belly to belly suplex. As Valerie out. Goes behind. Oh, got caught with the jawbreaker. Valerie has Long up. Sends him in the road. Oh, running forearm. Able to avoid the thrust kick. Valerie with the knee lifts. Again going back to targeting the shoulder here. Long trying to get his foot up on the bottom rope if he can. Able to slip free. Valerie with that left. Oh, but Long has her up. Ball in kingdom. Valerie up on her feet, she's a bit dazed. Caught him with the jawbreaker! So still trying to maintain the offensive. Oh, but Long! Double knees right to the sternum! Walk up, Irish whip. Valerie able to catch herself. The icon kick! Pulls her away, leg is hooked! One, two! Valerie able to get the shoulder up in time! Lock up, Valerie, vertical suplex. Valerie coming off the ropes, Long makes it to his feet, however, kick to the midsection. Oh, she has it, Divine Smite! And I think she actually busts him out, she's got the pestilence locked in! Oh my god! What an amount of pain, but he's able to break free! Jeez. I think he got caught on the mother of the notes. We're coming one, two. Oh, and Valerie able to kick out just in time. Yeah. Icon kick. Hooks the leg. One, two. Valerie again able to kick out. Right now she's just biting on, on Long. Get the teeth just dug into the flesh. Long with the Irish whip, but Valerie catches herself. Lock up. Dragon screw. Long to the top. Double stomp right to the ribs. But quite a distance to cover there as well. Yeah. Oh, the Kingmaker! Pulls her away, but Valerie's Duh. on her feet. Duh. There they go. Long. Valerie. Duh. Long. Duh. Valerie. Come on. Long. Yeah. Discus Lariat. Valerie, however. Oh, what a vicious forearm! Valerie has long up! Oh! It's that face buster! The tenderizer! She's got the tenderizer! Long tapped! He tapped! Here is your winner and the new no!
Combo a contender, Sister Valerie! What an absolute battle between these two, but Valerie able to keep her winning ways going and has not only claimed the number one contendership, but she tapped out Jason Long as well with the tenderizer and God, that is definitely a big victory and a massive step for her career here in the XHF and under the SCCW banner as now she's the one who will be advancing next week to challenge Hunter Storms for the International Championship and that is going to be one hell of a contest for sure. Congrats to Valerie on a big, big win. All right, with that, folks, that's going to wrap up this week's installment of Thursday Night Ignition. And, God, what a, what a time it was, especially with how we've ended. Certainly a bit of an underdog tale there, for sure, if we're being honest. But there's really not much in the way of announcements. Again, aside from me repeating myself about the pay-per-view, uh, come Voltage or, you know, the card will probably already be posted by then. I'll probably just, you know, be doing, in case those who don't catch one of the card, it'll just, you know, be me giving the announcements. It's like, hey, uh, you know, insert name here is what the pay-per-view is by then. So we'll see how things go from there. But again, aside from that, ain't got much else. Closing remarks. You know, thank you to those who came out. Thank you to those who tuned in to our broadcast as always. Support is always greatly appreciated. Uh, you know, we've been appreciating you guys since day one. Uh, but with that, once again, my name is Alistair Mayfield. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And I will see you all next week for another edition of Wednesday Night Voltage. Uh, the Voltage before we get into SCCW's second ever pay-per-view. Until uh, then, you all take care. I will see you then. And I realize I kind of got myself mixed up there. I will see you all then. Take care. And good night.